We have a big change of pace over the next couple days for many folks out there. Winter temperatures will be returning to the eastern half of the country after a fairly nice stretch of mild weather in the middle of winter. So right now we are waking up to 47 degrees in St. Louis. That's a mild start. Look at New York City, 40 degrees, 33 in Detroit. Temperatures down to the coast, 70 or pardon me, 43 degrees in San Antonio, 44 in New Orleans, and we are waking up in Tampa in the low 50s. And as we go into the afternoon, we're going have a really warm day here. I mean, we're pushing 80 degrees in San Antonio, uh, 77 in Tampa, but look up to the north 40 in Sioux Falls, 38 degrees in Detroit, 53 degrees in New York City. So these temperatures are well above average for this time of year. Well, here's the reality check. Chicago, take advantage of today. I know we have the clipper moving through, but temperatures are in the low 40s. Tomorrow, we're 22 degrees. We're talking about a 20 degree temperature drop with that cold front moving through. As we take a wide look at the map, 20 to 30 degrees above average for much of the East Coast, but we have this pocket of cold air that's sliding in for tomorrow. You're going to feel it in Chicago, Kansas City and Memphis. Well, that 20 degree temperature drop is going to make its way to the East Coast as we go into Sunday. So if you live anywhere from New York City into Washington, D.C., all the way down in towards Wilmington, enjoy your Saturday because Sunday is going to be your brush with reality with temperatures going well above average to going back down to cold conditions. Minneapolis 38 degrees today. Your average is in the upper 20s, but look at Saturday. We're dropping well below average going down to six degrees. So it looks like we're in for a little bit of a cold snap for everyone that lives east of the Mississippi. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.